Let's write 29 hundredths as a decimal. So we'll start with 29 over 100. And let's start breaking that down till we can get to place values because place values will help us to convert to write this as a decimal. 29 hundredths, we can break that down into 20 hundredths plus 9 hundredths. 20 hundredths plus 9 more hundredths is equal to 29 hundredths. So we've just broken it down some here. It's still equivalent to 29 hundredths. We're just taking it apart trying to get to place values. Going from there, we can simplify even more. 20 hundredths can be simplified. We could divide 20 and 100 by 10. So we'll say 2 tenths plus 9 hundredths. And now, if you can hear the tenths, hundredths, these are place values we should recognize from decimals. So what we've shown here is that 29 hundredths is equal to 2 tenths plus 9 hundredths. Here we have 2 tenths, which matches 2 tenths, and 9 hundredths, like our 9 hundredths right there. And so we can take those and think about place value. If we have our decimal, let's first put our decimal. Over here to the left of the decimal is our 1's place value. We don't have any 1's here, so we'll put a 0, 0 1's. But then next is tenths. Then we have our tenths, and we have 2 tenths. And after tenths, the place value after tenths is hundredths, and here we see we have 9 hundredths. So we'll put a 9 in the hundredths place. And so down here, 0 0.29 or 29 hundredths is equivalent to the fraction 29 hundredths. And just listen to how those are said. It's kind of a clue that we did well. 29 hundredths is equivalent to 29 hundredths. Both the fraction and the decimal are read the same way, so that's a pretty good clue that we probably rewrote these correctly. So 0 0.29 is equal to 29 hundredths. Let's try one more. Let's try something, let's say maybe 50, maybe 53 tenths. So again, we're going to break this down. We'll have 50 tenths plus how many more tenths are left? There's still three more tenths. And again, we can simplify. We can simplify this. 50 tenths can be divided by 10. So instead of 50 tenths, we'll say 5 ones plus, we still have those 3 tenths. And now we've got this to place value. 5 ones is 5 ones plus here 3 tenths is 3 tenths. So thinking, let's put our decimal. Over here to the left of the decimal is our ones, and we have 5 ones. And to the right of the decimal is tenths, and we have 3 tenths. So 5.3 or 5 and 3 tenths is equal to 53 tenths. To write 53 tenths as a decimal, we will get 5.3 because it was 5 ones and 3 tenths, which we showed right here, 5 and 3 tenths.